So these are the flows. Yeah. And other thing is runtime errors. It's very hard to find runtime errors because actually sanitizers are runtime tools. They give the error when, when we execute the code. But we can't execute each and every packet. I tried to do it by just installing every packet and try to run it. I broke my system two times because of this. But uh, there's no other way to do it right now. We have to find some uh, better way for this. And the results for this I've dumped here. I will have to make it much better to read. Yeah. After this, uh, it was a manual process, so we have to add it to the Debile build. Uh, Debile is a build system. It is uh, made by Paul Tuglement. And uh, we need to add our ASAN passes to it, so it will, after every, uh, after some time, uh, after every time it will fetch the source packages, it will add the ASAN flag, and it will build the dev files, and it will upload it to some repository. So we are planning to make a repository which is in which there are all the devs which are filtered by ASAN Plank. Yeah, and uh, the next thing will be to add other sanitizers like memory sanitizers and thread sanitizers. Other than that, we need to show which are the errors. If we can provide some solution, we'll give, or otherwise we need to just uh, file box for those. These are the links if someone wants it. And thanks to these people which helped us, uh, Gilliam and Balin for the sanitized flag and David Suarez for helping us with the build, build system that is Amazon Cloud and Clement for Dubai. Any suggestions and questions? Um, have you tried using the uh, auto package test? Sorry. Test. Uh, so there's a there's a tool in Debian auto package test which specifies some ways that packages should run. Uh, like if you had package tests for the binary called cat, you might have a auto package test rule that indicates you can run cat in this way, and then it'll output this thing. Okay. Uh, that I guess I'm pointing out that might be a way to. Uh, you might be able to use the auto package test running infrastructure to run ASAN enhanced okay. versions of the packages. Okay, thank you for that. Any other solutions? No other questions? Then please, a round of applause. Okay, thank you. Hello. One, two, hello. So, hello. And this is the agenda about me, the project. What is the problem, the project goal, the tool. My job in Google Summit of Code is the project on future. Who I, who I am, yeah. And my name is Thiago Ribeiro and I'm from Brazil. And I graduated in software engineer. My university is University of Brasilia. 
this is my first dev cough and my first time in Google Summer of Code. And I like Ruby, DevOps, tests, coffee, packing, and more. Okay. My GSOP project is automated configuration of package web applications. Okay, the project is Shack. Shack is self-hosting applications <laughs> kit. More inf infos, just gitlab.com, Shack, Shack. And what is the problem? Uh, oh, thank you. If you configure on web application package in, in Debian, you need some steps to configure and deploy. These steps are install the package, configure your servers, configure files, configure database, and more. These tasks uh, <coughs> is like easy to experienced users, but to inexperienced inexperienced user, maybe not. Then, so why isn't there some tools that do all that? Then, the project goal, create a tool to automate the installation and configuration of, of packaged applications. Then check, check is composed of Ruby code, shell scripts, shell recycles, nginx confs, and Debian packages, of course. What, what do checks do? Check configure web servers, NDX, configure application, configuration files, generate SSL certificate, and force HTTPS if you have support. Configure database, configure host name and mail server. Possibility multiple instance of application. And example, uh, if you need have to on cloud instance, like in my cloud uh, preview. In the same servers, using unique package, total independence, check possibility this. My job in Summer of Code. My job in Summer of Code is write chef recycles, the, uh, on cloud, work to on cloud, to WordPress, to mail server, and my mind, work in progress now. And scripts to generate self-signed certificates or SSL in applications, Evolve Check 2, Ruby plus RSpec tests. And send patches to packages if it's necessary. Example on cloud, to use Check is very easy. We have two ways. First way, web interface, but we're working progress now. And just one click and use, yeah? The second way, in terminal, we have a syntax, Check install our app name, host name equals your host name, and path equals your path. Example, check install on cloud, and host name equals devconf.cloud.pub. In a few seconds, the application is done. If you need more uh, information, please go to presentation of my mentor, Antonio. Where is Antonio? And it's here. Uh, the presentation is packaged, the first software app for end users. Saturday, 2 p.m., Heidelberg. Yeah. Thanks to Antonio Terceiro. We're very fast. Huh? <laughs> Thanks to Antonio Terceiro, Paulo Meirelles, my teacher in Brazil, Lucas Canashiro, uh, Debian, of course, Oslan Tafit. Where is Tafit? No? Ah, okay. I love this guy, but he's not here. If you, uh, if you have interest in I can show how it works. And if you find me, in IRC. My nickname is Thiago VSK. And that's all, folks. Thank you. <laughs> it's very fast. <laughs> Oops. He apparently already got the round of applause, but we missed the questions. Any questions? No questions? <coughs> then I do have one. Uh, keep the microphone. <laughs> Have you talked with people from the Freedom Box project? Because uh, one click application installation could be really interesting for things like the Freedom Box. Oh, sorry. Uh, can you help me to translate it? Uh, no, uh, uh, sorry, my English is not good, but. It's my first uh, experience about this. 
and uh, I learn more, but uh, I will speak with him. It's a good opportunity to me. Okay, yeah, the guys are there. <laughs> Hi, thanks. I have one, uh, two other suggestions for projects doing similar things. One is called Why You Know Host, Why You No Host. I think they're also Debian based. So I'm curious if you've looked at what they're doing and is that something that is similar? Terceiro, please. Ah. Sure. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, I did look at it. Uh, the issue is that they kind of reinvent packaging, so they do their own thing. And we are basing everything on Debian packages, official Debian packages. So we are just doing the final, the extra, the final mile to get a just out of the box experience for users. And I'm also giving a talk on Thursday about a very different approach called Sandstorm. So maybe I'll see you there, and I can talk with you more about that later. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you. This was the third and last talk for, from JSOC students that I have received. Are there any, any other students in the room? Yeah? Do you, can you probably maybe stand up and talk about your thing for some minutes? My name is Lucas Kanashiro. This is my second year as a GSOC student. And this year, last year I work in DebCI, ci.debian.net. And this year I work with uh, the Bio project, where this is a smart beauty system where we build some packages and realize some kind of aesthetic, anal aesthetic analysis and, and other kind of stuff. We run some checkers like uh, Lynchian, like uh, CPP check, PyLint, and JS hint, uh, find bugs, and some kind of these aesthetic ana analyzers. And our goal is analyze the source code and centralize as this uh, report these things to upstream <coughs> and maintainer in the same place. And uh, my work initially is, was uh, added some, another checkers, but in the middle of the project we changed our plans and I work more in back end and another kind of stuff. Uh, I added two checkers, they are uh, PyLint and JS Hint. We have some problems with JS Hint because the license of this software as uh, evil license and another kind of stuff. And so we we use it from the source, not a package of this thing. And I work with some backend tools, tools like set up users in the machines. We have a Clement to help me a lot with in, dur during this project. And my mentor is Sylvester Ledru too. And uh, Yeah, is this? I probably we should uh, refactor the inter web interface, but I I didn't have time to do it. And the next steps uh, probably is connected this the, the bio with uh, Debian infrastructure because I need to upload the pictures manually to test some things. So let me show something. Here you can browse by source or by maintainer. You have the some informations here about the jobs, and we have uh, 
17 servers. We have a master in slave architecture, and we have one master in 16 slaves. And all these slaves run all these checks, and here is the status of some jobs. You can find by the prefix of source here and another links. Here, let me see something here. Now, let's see auto package test here. <coughs> you, you can see some information of the package, maintainers, architectures, versions, and etc. You can see the status of all the checkers here. You can see some errors in auto package test package. You can see the log of this analysis here. We can access here. We use Firehose. It's a tool that is an XML structure where it reports some, some things. And I, here in DevConf, I'm involved with other things, and I didn't have enough time to prepare another, preparing a better presentation. So, is this? Thank you. Any questions to this ad hoc presentation? <laughs> yes. So it, it looked to me like you're using lots of uh, tools such as linters and so on. Uh, did you consider using also more heavy duty static analysis like abstract interpretation and so on to find more bugs basically? Yeah, I, yeah, I we intend to work more with these checkers, but we, we have some problems in back end that we can't, uh, ad we can't advance with these checkers and and improve this kind of things, but yeah, yeah. We, we, we need to discuss this kind of thing and maybe, I don't know. I need to talk. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, if there are no other questions, we have another ad hoc presentation. So a round of applause for this ad hoc. <laughs> Hello, uh, my DSOC project is a Debian dashboard or developer dashboard. Uh, uh, about me, uh, my name is Harsh Daftri. I'm from uh, India. I'm a speaker at Black Hat USA uh, and uh, PyCon India. Uh, this project is about aggregating the, all the GitHub issues, all the Bitbucket issues, similar stuff, Debian events, Ubuntu events, etc., into one single place. Uh, hold on a sec. As you can see, this is the uh, dashboard. Uh, this is a web interface. Currently, I am hosting it on uh, DigitalOcean, but by the end of this uh, DevConf, uh, they are providing a domain that is horizon.debian.net. So soon you will be uh, able to use this. Uh, 
uh, if you can see, there's an option of new session where you can create a, a package. For, uh, you can select the data sources you want. For example, the UDD. Uh, uh, you can add the as many as you uh, as many email accounts of UDD as you want. Second, there is this uh, special events like Debian Summit, like DevConf or Ubuntu Loco events. <coughs> then there are uh, GitHub. So if you want all the issues of a particular person, uh, uh, all the issues in all the repositories of a particular username, then you enter the username of that person. Or else if you want uh, 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 repository specific issues that is open or closed, then you enter the username slash uh, repository name in the other section called GitHub by repo. Uh, then there is Bitbucket. You enter the same way, just like GitHub. And there is Bugzilla, where you can search the issues by the keywords and list them as well. Uh, in extras, I have given an option to load and remote iCalendar files. For such, if you have any Google Calendar files or anything, then you can directly give the link over here. And uh, it will merge all this thing into a single page list. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the example. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just uh, uh, going to choose about Debian conference. In the end, there is an option to download and generate. So uh, if you click, sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, if you click on the download, uh, you'll, uh, uh, the system will generate an iCalendar file and you will be able to download it uh, right then and there. If you create a session, it will generate uh, it will generate a random session ID. Uh, you will be getting a permanent URL for this session. So you can load, uh, you can uh, dynamically call it anytime you want. Uh, but the session uh, URL looks pretty big and it's not easy that easy to remember. So there's an option for get short URL, uh, which will use the uh, Debian.dev.li URL shortening service and it will generate and shorten URL for you. Uh, if you select this, As you can see, you can see the data sources you have selected. Uh, uh, now there is an option to export it as a JSON file or export it as a, as a calendar file. Uh, it's not working. Copy this. Can you copy this session? This session you are uh, session ID. Yeah. Yeah, visualize. Uh, visualize is an uh, uh, I have created an online calendar system where uh, if you put the your session ID it will generate a calendar file it will load that calendar into the uh, online calendar so you can actually see what's happening in the graphical interface uh, I hope it's loading so that's pretty much of it I have used angular JS and Bootstrap for the interface. I've created a, a web API written in Flask, Python 3. So uh, this, uh, I've created a web API, REST API, and I've used that REST API over this interface. So for those who don't want the interface, just want the backend, uh, it's possible to configure that in the GitHub. Uh, You can, uh, you can, uh, there's an option. I have used SQL Alchemy, so you can choose any back database backend as you want. If you don't want S uh, uh, SQL backend, so you can uh, choose a JSON DB name. That is, uh, it will be a static file uh, on the file system for the JSON storing the data. Uh, bind port and bind address are the same web interface, URL, uh, IP address, and port. Uh, rest are all the base URLs for all the APIs I have used. 
to connect the backend, uh, connect the GitHub and uh, Bitbucket. So all of them is uh, are easily configurable. Uh, installation on your own system is very easy. I've created an one-line installation. You just have to call that setup file and pass it to Bash. It will create a virtual environment. It will set up all the repositories and everything, fetch the code, uh, and configure everything for you. So you can plug and play. Huh, see, uh, as you can see, so all the events, uh, I have selected the DevCon, so all the uh, DevCon related events are loaded into the graphic uh, web UI calendar. Uh, in case uh, if anyone wants the GUI interaction. Uh, th that's all. Thank you. We only have one minute left, so if you have a question, be it quick. No questions. Then thank, thank you all of the presenters for the projects. <laughs>